Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Laysara Summit Kingdom. It seems to be, well, it seems to be, it's absolutely like a settlement builder, town builder atop kind of a Himalayan peak, uh, which I think is actually a really neat idea for a game. So we're just going to dive in and hope spark hill. So this might be a little tutorially, but we'll just crack it. Of all the years in the long and storied history of the kingdom of Laysara, this one surely has to be the worst. Following the harvest, a mysterious mist suddenly appeared all across the kingdom. Then, the pandemonium started. Crops started to fail. Disoriented animals barely produced any milk. People started to get sick. And you can't see anything. The fog in this valley is even worse than the city. For all we know, we could be lost already. Faith, my friend. Have faith. We're following the path that's been chosen for us. Path? I don't see any path. Just the same damn forest going on for days. It's not entirely the same. Look, there are more and more pines, and the thickets are thinning out. We are getting higher. We'll get to the upland shortly. Even if that's true, what will we find there? Mark my words, mountains are no place for humans. Yes, but they are a place of the spirits. We will settle at the foot of the mountain and make our way up to build a grand altar at the very summit. The spirits surely will recognize our efforts and help us to drive the mist away. And Lysara will be saved. Yeah, that's great and all, but did you see how low on supplies we are? Never mind building a temple, we'll die of hunger before even reaching the top. Come on, it won't be that bad. Look on the bright side. Mountains are above the mist, so we'll be able to cultivate crops and pasture our yaks again. Mm, maybe, <laughs> until the first avalanche sweeps us all away. Stop worrying about minor details. We're on the most sacred quest, and nothing will stop us. Onwards. Okay, that was adorable. The yak eating the sign. Ooh, and this looks cool. I really like the theming of like, you have this endless fog that you have to deal with. Finally a place above the mist and with enough space to establish a small colony. It'll serve as an outpost when we move on to bigger mount mountains. I guess that makes sense. We need to maintain contact with the capital in case they need to come and save us. Nonsense. We'll achieve great, great things in these mountains, and this small settlement will be our first step. Let's start by building a district for our workers. Okay, so yeah, full tutorial mode, but that's okay. All right, try the overview. Overview, ah. Oh, there we go. Okay. I wonder if there's a way that I can actually just, like, say, please no tutorial. Nope. All right. We'll just make it work. Pause and unpause the game. Oh, space bar. There we go. Eh, is what it is. Okay, build food market. Here? Good enough. Looks like, does it need road market? Or oh, road access. Yes. I usually like to just kind of spread these out and oof. I mean, it's fine. Oh, can it not connect because there's just enough stuff in the way? Possibly. I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. Okay, 32 lowlanders living within range of a market. So what's the tightest I can get? Because to some degree, what we want to do, and I know I can always demolish these at a later date, Half its construction cost, though. Let's let us start the grid. Okay, can I? Yes. Not perfect, but we weren't going to get any businesses or houses in there anyway. And what I like to have these on like a really tidy grid if I can. Uh, I'm not so foolish as to insist. There we go. On oh, sticking to it. The very first settlers on the mountain. That's great. We should take care of their basic needs, like 
shrines. They need to have spots where they can pray for the success of our mission. Huh, I meant providing them with food. Well, we can do that too, I guess. But spirituality comes first. Uh, that's extremely unwise. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see, do I put that there? No. I'll sneak it here and we'll get another one over here. I think. Okay. So now we just need a Lowlander's Hut. Wait. Lowlander's Hut's menu? Here? Oh, it is residential, maybe. Oh, I see. See about their needs. So upgrade progress. So praying place, food, and they'll upgrade. So we don't have to worry about our people starving. They just won't expand. Okay, I actually, I like those kinds of systems. So do we want to just give them chickens nice and easy? Or no. No, because this is just to bring us to the food market. Okay, then supply lowlanders with eggs. Oh, I see. There we go. I cancel that. Can I? Oh, okay. I can just drag it. Start sending Sampa to the food market. Okay, so we need flour. Okay, so we need a mill, which is probably the thing that needs to be closest. Oops. Can we not rotate these? Huh. It's a choice. It's fine. There we go. So now these upgrade. So that probably gives us some more people. Oh. Okay, accommodate more citizens, but consumption of food and other goods will raise. So it'll need more before we can upgrade further, presumably. Okay, those are all maxed. Splendid! Looks like lowlanders are happy here. They'll be the backbone, a backbone of the settlement's economy. Yes, but artisans won't be satisfied so easily. They're used to a certain standard, you know. But if we want to progress, we need them for their manufacturing skills. I'm sure we can somehow, um, somehow make them comfortable too. Look, this seems like a perfect place for an artisan district, if you ask me. We can try, I guess. Oh, good. Okay, so we build bridge. Might as well build a second one just for the hell of it. Um, okay, 40 artisans living in the area. Dirt road. I see. Probably just continue both of these straight and just figure out what we can fit in where. Okay, so food distribution is a must. Well, option A, mm-hmm. I gotta check something real quick in the options. Key bindings. Rotate camera. Is there no way to rotate a structure? That's interesting. I was assuming since they're 3D, I'd be able to rotate them, but I, I suppose I can't. So, I guess the easiest answer I have is artisan houses. We're just gonna have a bunch of them right as you enter this area. And then I'll just do the food market right here. Not a bad idea. I'll put it there. Because we can extend this all the way down. Am I going to end up regretting that? Yeah, possibly. Okay, sample production. I'll just deal. Okay, so I should 
take a look at this. So, production per mountain zone. Three lowlanders, six lowlanders. So am I going to need some lowlanders to keep these people going too? Maybe. I'll just put some fields down this. So here's the question. Receiving 6 out of 24, 12 out of 24, so it can handle exactly four farms. Well, I'm not really using these slots, so let's just do that. And it looks like I'm going to need at least one more set of artisan houses. Sure. There we go. Okay, fill the progress bar halfway on artisan houses, build a copper mine, and connect it. Okay, is that... Well, that's enlightenment. Uh, let's see. I'll just do that for now. I don't actually know if these people needed spirituality. No, they did. Alright, cool. Maybe. Okay, might have an upkeep cost. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, so where the heck is the copper mine? Because ain't that, ain't that? It's not residential. Maybe I just select it. Oh, build mine. It doesn't seem to like this, though. Oh, I see. I can put it right there. Okay, missing yaks. So it looks like we need some some of those. Yaks, yak pasture. Where do I put the yak pasture? Does it really matter? It probably does. I'll just extend the road. I don't know if the yak pasture needs to be too close to anything. Okay. So we've got copper production. So with copper extraction up and running, we can use it to make utensils at the coppersmith workshop. Highly desired goods and goods are distributed to nearby houses from commodity suppliers. So we got a commodity supplier. Uh, put it there. Sure. Kind of keep it central. And then coppersmith. I'll put it there for the time being. We'll figure other stuff out. Ah, missing yaks. Oh, I can I can just move buildings? Sick. Okay, plus seven yaks. Needs four. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to need another yak setup. So if I can just move these buildings freely, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, managing flow of resources. Seems that there aren't enough utensils for everyone. However, Copier Smith only uses one unit of copper means a single mine can supply multiple workshops. Now use a carrier post to divide the flow of resources between multiple buildings. Okay. So let's get another road down, if I can. The rocks just go away? Alright, so they do. Not that in it. Here we go. So, copper mine. But we can have up to... Oops. We can have up to five of these, which feels like it might be overkill. Okay, do that for now. It looks like the yaks we don't actually have to connect. We just have to have sufficient quantity. Okay, so here's the question. We have a carrier post. Mm. 
is not in range. If I move this here... Does it have to be here? Hmm. I mean, we could just get another carrier post. It's probably silly to do so. Okay, there we go. Looks like this might also have a longer range. All right. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's expand higher. The climate in the middle zones of the mountains is just perfect for bees and producing honey. This is not a bad tutorial. Often I find these can be, I, I, I find tutorials can be kind of cumbersome. But this feels pretty good so far. Two op operational beekeepers in this zone. There we go. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to put road? I'll just put it there for the time being. I might be able to sneak some things in. Honey production. Bees. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit too much in there. But I can have at least two of those. So this requires workforce laborers? Yeah. So ad hoc workers. So we actually just need more of these lads. What is this saying? Because this doesn't have enough eggs. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get more than that. All right. Solves the egg problems. So what do they need? More food and prosperity. So we do need a commodity supplier. It looks like these are types of foods. Yeah, so we can't do anything else. We can do honey eventually. There's got to be a way that I can actually do... Ah, cart post. But we don't have that yet. So we'll just leave that for later. Your brilliant plan seems to have a flaw. Flaw? It's a perfect place for bees. You act like you got stung by one. Oh, open your eyes. Are we going to transport all this honey down? Relax. With the right attitude and an open mind, we can overcome any obstacle. How exactly will an, will an open mind help us to transport anything? Oh, just you wait. Let's, uh, let, oh, just you wait. Let my fellow monks, let's get my fellow monks here. They'll come up with a solution. Okay, so we need an academy. Okay, satisfies need and range research. So that's probably more for these guys? No. Ah, they need honey. Okay, so we also have Monk's Dormitory. So I think, yeah, we just put that up here for now. Um, I don't know. I'm probably just going to somewhat exile them out this direction. Put it here? Yeah. Okay, so we need Monk's. If I put them here, we can get kind of Two abreast. Possibly three. Okay, how many monks does this need? 38. How much do these have? Four. So we need to get them food, and we need to get them enlightenment. Well, for starters... Hmm... There's a couple of these that I'm going to need. Food distribution. I'm just going to put that in between. I think we'll need we'll need the road. Okay, so we're going to want egg.
And then we're also going to want farming. The farm here. I might need to... I might need to shuffle a lot of things. Okay, let's just move that over here. Okay, get rid of that. Move this. I guess I'll just, just demolish it. Okay. We don't have enough money. Uh, game, did you? gonna hook a bunch of things up move things around this scares me because yeah our upkeep costs are legitimately bad and it's not like these get me money We need 20 monks. We have four. This needs a considerable amount of enlightenment. Well, we should get some shrines down. Okay, affected citizens. Workforce upkeep. If I just have three of these. No, only counts as one. Okay, so where am I getting the extra money from? It looks like it's actually just assistance from the capital. I think it just keeps scaling up. That's probably for the best. Otherwise, we'd have some problems here. Okay, that immediately lets us upgrade a bunch of these. A long time ago, I played like a colony builder in uh, a called Life in Bunker. It was a really charming game. But if you followed the tutorial to the letter, you would lose automatically. And it was... Rough. Okay, 10 artisan houses at level 2. So we want to get a cart post. Low on egg? Low on egg. So we've got this whole back area that I'm kind of wasting. But it's fine. Okay, here? Yep. Alright, there we go. Is there a way to select all of these? Oh. Oh, you can... Interesting, you can copy and paste them, sort of. But yeah, uh, your people would straight up, like, starve to death. Uh, because you didn't... Ha uh, the tutorial kind of put off giving you food. Nicely done. We've got some decent groundwork here. We're now ready to continue with our quest and travel to the first real mountain, high enough for Summit Temple. Not so fast. We need a logistics point down here, and more importantly, a way to secure our financial situation. Oh, come on. Do we really need to deal with such trivial matters? We've got bigger things to pursue. 
trivial, this whole endeavor is an insanely complex logistical operation, which could end, end in disaster in a blink of an eye. We have to make sure the treasury checks out. Or oh, that's the end of us. Okay, start getting donations from citizens. Donation spot. I was wondering about this. Bammo. Well, that's a lot of it. This would be a good spot for a trading post. It'll be easy to send resources further from here. Huh? What's that noise? All right, forget about it. We're all going to die. Relax, no one got hurt. Actually, this avalanche wasn't even that huge. I bet we can I bet we can still have a trading post in this region. You want to stop stop all the snow with that sh with the sheer power of your mind? Go ahead. I'll stay here and watch. Don't be stupid. We just need a few foresters to provide tree cover. That should do the trick. Okay, so first and foremost, gonna need a bridge. Uh, let's just have it go down to the bottom. Okay, so it wants a trading... A trading post? Oh yeah, trading post. I guess let's hook this up too. Alright. So we also have avalanche protection. We're going to need some more people and some more yaks. That's solvable-ish. What? There we go. So now we definitely need more people. So let's take a look at these guys. So they need more food. Here's the question. Does honey count? Honey counts. Okay, surplus plus six. Can I actually send to two transport routes. I think I can. Yes. Looks like I can. So what's your issue? Oh no, that's just saying what it's transporting. So let's take a look at these. So we have honey. Do we have enough honey for everybody? We do. What we need here, or no, distribution, cart post, trading post, cart post. So we need more food. Yeah, it requires research level two. Is that not a thing? Academy increases research level by one. Oh. But not available in the tutorial. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to make do by just jamming more houses in here. Which is fine. Oops. that. I'm going to be a smidge sloppy. I'll just put it there. Oh, good. I can just press these. Okay. And now we are short on... What are we short on? Wheat. Oh, good. And the fields don't have to be connected to the road. So all we need is just more honey. Let's go back to beekeepers. Not not in range. Oh, beans. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're just gonna move the chickens. Just get another road up in here. I'll organize this better in the future. There we go. 
Okay, so we're still looking a little iffy on our yak situation. That gives us a little bit more. Our income is looking great, largely due to donations. So what's your issue? Producing lumber. Buy, so we can buy resources, we can sell resources. It wants butter lamps? Oh, I see. There we go. I guess these don't need to be hooked up to the road. Here it comes. Hooray, it worked. The trading post is safe. I told you from the very beginning, there's nothing to worry about. Now we're finally ready to move on. Let's make our way to the first real mountain. Can't wait. All right, so where do we want to go? We've got a bunch. I'm not sure what the leaf means. Oh, good for a start. Good sized mountain with everything you'll need for establishing a proper settlement. Sure, let's dive in on this one. We're just going to do adept. So it looks like these are just different maps that we can roll with. Uh, as opposed to any kind of, like, substantive campaign mode. But that's fine. I'm seeing some things. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot. Ah, this is some serious mountain we've got here. It's not just a home yet, but surely we all, we'll have all we need to establish a settlement. I don't know. There's not much land suitable for efficient farming. Oh, come on. It's not like barley won't grow a little higher. Have some faith. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it doesn't look like the worst place possible. Look at all these resource deposits. Hopefully we can run some decent manufacturing operations here. You know what? You're right. With a positive attitude, we can definitely make it work. Okay, so where are we at? At how we doing this? I think the easiest immediate answer is probably just hook up the bridges. Uh, just so we can kind of work around those. Oh, do we have... We have like three different bridge spots. Oh, sick. This mountain's actually huge. Immediate problem is, yeah, if we take a look at these. So this is a huge workable area. We do have to worry about that snow cap, though. That is the one worry, is that some of these are in av avalanche zones, and I'm not the most keen on it. Also, I guess that we're on the mid-range. Oh, we're on the mid-range. Because I think this is where we're coming in on. Right? Yeah, that's got to be it. All right. So, I guess next order of business... If we're starting here, there we go. Might as well make that work. Now we're gonna have to get at least a bridge together for this. Let's hook that over. Could I lay these out more efficiently than I do? Probably, yeah, but eh. I don't know, there's only so much I can do about it. Uh, let's, let's just put it here. Keep it mostly nice and tidy. There we go. So, yaks, ad hoc workers, and that gets us access to this area, which gets us crystal deposits and not much else, but that's fine. So, we want to start with, I guess, honestly, we start with the food distribution and then make everything else work. Uh, let's see. Nope. Food distribution. Egg? Egg. Can I fit two of these? I can fit two, though we don't want to, we do not want to be doing too much. Hmm. Oh, interesting. They don't have road connections this time. I didn't know they needed it. Odd. But that's fine. Okay, so we want to hook these all up to this one. I'll have to move all of this at a later date. But there we go. How do we do this? Because I kind of, I kind of goofed parts of it. Gonna get rid of that. Don't, don't worry about it. They'll get their road. Let's 
something like that. I don't know. Money balance turned negative. Pause. We need to worry about that. Missing workforce penalty. Let's see. Money shrine donation spot. I'll just put it here. Okay, so issue is we don't have enough lowlanders. Let's let's start from the bottom with this, probably. Get as many down as we can. Okay, so now we need artisans. Oh, ad hoc workers. Why? What do we what do we need artisans for? What are they working on? They're working on the donation spot. Okay. I'm just going to disable that building. So fun fact. Yeah, I can't do that. All right. So what do we need? Oh, they need faith, of course. What else do they need? Any category. Huh. All right, let's take a look. Because we did also have cheese production. Yak Shack. I see. Requires lowlanders and sure. You know what though? We should, we should move this. Yak Shack should be probably up over here. What is this range? Pretty far. Okay, just far enough. Wait, oh. Resources cannot be distributed by this building. What? Oh, wool and milk. Oh. Processed milk, I see, so we have to turn it into cheese first. Okay, turn it into cheese, cheese into cheese maker. So I could put the cheese maker there, but they actually fit reasonably well. Okay, so what we need are some amount of yaks. Yak pastures. Like, the other thing we can do is actually have the Yak Pastures elsewhere. Because I think I had them kind of around here last time. Let's do something like that. Okay, don't think I can move that, but that's fine. So we have, we still have ad hoc worker problems. So what I'm probably going to do is just spend a lot of money, which might be a bit of an issue, getting laborers down. Okay, so we've got yaks. We have cheese. We're producing plenty. So what is your issue? Oh, faith, of, of course. I'm just going to get a really strong kind of basic setup going. Uh, let's see. We might have to... We're, we're absolutely going to have to move some things. A lot of copper can be found around here. We should take advantage of that. Copper is such a fine material. When you touch it, it feels cold. This means it drains temperature from your body very quickly. I wonder if, it, I wonder if in the future it may be used for sending warmth or maybe other kinds of energy on long distances. What on earth are you talking about? I meant it's good for producing kitchenware. Ah, oh, yes, no need to get ahead of ourselves. All in good time. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, so we've got kind of a highland area. We should probably do some level of art artisan building. Monks, yak pasture. Okay. 
I guess we might as well start with the most obvious of what do I need for copper utensils? Because this is not copper. This is rock crystal. Here's the copper. Okay. So that puts us in kind of an awkward position of being very far away. So I might have to have some like kind of extensive uh, resource transportation networks. Just do something like that. I don't know. It'll probably need some reconfiguration. That's perfectly straight on. I guess one thing I can do is demolish the bridges. Here's the thing. I don't I don't need this. I, I don't need the bridges to be in awkward spots. Okay, so we've got our copper here. I guess let's start with the copper mining. Spread this out. Yeah, so I guess this is going to be my, my real lowland production zone. Uh, it's... No, we don't we don't actually want it to be there because that's gonna lock us in. So we have the commodity supplier, we have baths. Oh, that's interesting. Requires upkeep, also requires a river nearby. Satisfies things in range. Useful, but not for what I'm doing right now. So what I should do is figure out neighborhood business. Let's just pause. Total revenue. Okay, so I actually have a decent amount in treasury. Um I ad hocking some yaks. That's that's part of my problem. I'm just going to have this area be yak land. That'll also get us some more money. I kind of wish there was, there was a way I could just disable ad hoc. Just say, nope, don't give it to me. Uh, I'd rather have a, de a, a deficit of resources than ad hoc anything. Okay, well, we might as well get some copper production. I'm probably going to put it in the center here. Okay, so this receives one. This produces four. We can have so much copper going on. All right, we'll have to figure that out later. Well... Realistically, most of our space is kind of there. I put it here. Gives it room for a lot of things around it. We might have to move some things around. I really like the music on this game. It is nice to listen to. So I think what I'm gonna do uh, I'm not going to connect that yet. Oh, right. We should have this area for farming, maybe. What's the maximum range on these? Okay, they have egg. Go back to this. Yeah, because I have all this space here. That I can just... Put houses. Speaking of though, what I should do is get get that commodity supplier down. Put it here. I could put it there. That's not a bad spot. I wasn't really sure what to put in that that area. Its location could be a little bit better because it's not going to be able to extend all the way out here. But I'm also not sure how much that matters. Uh, let's see. Other thing we need is faith. I'll just sneak these all over the place. So they need... And yeah, not in range. Kind of new as much. Distribution will get a carrier post. Not in range.
Okay. Move them. Move them. This might actually be a bit of an issue for me. Okay. There. So now we've got some copper. Let's take a look. So they're getting copper, and then we just need to give them any kind of fulfillment. So the answer is, gotta figure out more shrine business. An avalanche. Where? Here. Oh. You know, I hadn't noticed that there, but now that I have been made aware of the issue. Okay. That'll just have to do for now. Awkward. Okay, so what is our issue? Income's kind of bad. Treasury is down. The building upkeep is rough, and we only have so much assistance from the capital. However, at this point, I almost have enough. To activate these. Yeah, it seems to be enough right there. Yeah, unsatisfied needs. Oh, you can see the size of them too. That's really nice. Yak Guardian. Interesting. Most of these I'm not going to be able to snag, though. Okay. I think rather than doing anything, we're just going to get a couple houses down. And we're going to turn this thing on. Whoop. There's the income. We'll have to build another one of them up here once we have a little bit more population. But for starters, I should probably get that population up. Okay, so food distribution. Uh, Sampa? Sampa. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move that there. Okay, farthest I can put it is right there. where I need it to be. We want this all to be one giant field. Because it'll fit here, and this way, if I extend road access, it all counts. Perfect. Okay, so now they've got Sampa, supposedly. No demand for this resource. What? Yeah, it's about, uh, 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 that's a problem. All right, screw it. Wish I'd noticed that previously. So do they do they eat cheese? They do eat cheese. Okay, so che cheese is an option. Okay, we're going to need a Yak Shack. Possibly two. Oh. Cheesemaker. So that's producing... Milk and wool. Oh, its range is worse. I'll just put it there. 
Eh. Getting roads down is weirdly difficult. There we go. Okay, so now we got cheese. So we still need some more things. What can we get? Oh, bathhouse. Hmm. It's not that bad. Actually, duh, 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 duh. move it here. Move this here. Move this here. We're going to get rid of these roads so I can get that bathhouse in. There we go. Okay, so that gets me way more artisans. We're going to have to reorganize things kind of aggressively uh, due to this thing's inclusion. Good. Will we? Actually, no. I think that just kind of worked out for me. Let's see. They're going to be mad for a hot second, but we're just going to get another road down. There we go. Uh, let's see. So now we've got a bunch of people. We'll need scholarships. Oh, but we are currently paying for yaks, and that's that doesn't feel good. What I should probably do is just get a bunch of yak fields down. Uh, but not immediately. They're kind of pricey. This might just be the yak zone. There's no way I can increase the amount of yaks, right? Yeah. Okay. So this might also become somewhat of the yak zone, but we're going to have to figure that out later. For now, uh, let's see. I guess here's the question. I mean, yeah? Yeah. I can probably justify that. I don't know. We might have to move some things around. For now, though, we've got access to the Highlands. Which are usually where you put your monks, I think. So... I guess the easiest... Oh, no, that's a praying place. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do we want to put these? What do you need? Okay. So they need food. High zones, so they're happy about that. And then enlightenment. They eat cheese. And they eat sampa, but they do not bother with... Um, egg. I was gonna say not vegan enough, but that doesn't quite make sense. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jam this guy in here. Okay, so what we're gonna need is twofold. We're going to need a temple. And we're going to need food. I guess I'll just sandwich them right here. We might have to move some things around to really accommodate this, but it's fine. Okay, so let's take a look. I need 48 monks. We're actually almost there, surprisingly. Let's see, so we have the food market. Now we just need is the Sampa. Start with the fields? Yeah, here's the question, where do we put the Sampa fields? Okay, go back here, put this here. Sampa, 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 Sampa. All right. So we'll have at least some food. We can still get them cheese.
Yeah, the main question is where do, where do I put the yak shack for the cheese? I have almost a, I have enough space for stuff back here. Which is part of the problem. Let me guess, you just don't have enough range? What is your issue? Ah, you don't have enough range. So we'd, we should move at least a handful of these. What if it's, what if it's something like this? Maybe it's just too far? No. So this is 100% not within range of the temple. I'll just put it there. Uh, let's see. So what do we need beyond this? Satisfaction drop below current level requirements. Receiving monetary relief. Well, that is actually something that we should consider is straight up a donation spot. Okay, then we gotta go all the way back down here because these guys could use some more stuff. So we are not currently giving them, we're not gonna upgrade for a while is the one issue, but we are not currently giving them utensils. And that's kind of a problem. So what's your issue? Lack of faith. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to move this. Transport unit with an invalid path. Uh, what is your issue? I'm just gonna undo a lot of these for a hot second. Ah, it doesn't have enough range. Here's the question. Yeah, if I'm just gonna have to reorganize everything. Does this work? Sort of. I think I'm gonna have to, yeah, there we go. Move these up. Next issue is this is still too far away, but get rid of that road. Put this here. Because we can we can get a commodity supplier front front and center. Okay, these are all hooked up. Making money again, what's your issue? Something about satisfaction level? Ah, uh, they're missing cheese. Because we are not producing enough cheese here. Yeah, some of these things I might actually have to just offshore. Uh, just get a big, like, milk production area. I think they'll just have to deal with it for the moment. Uh, let's see. So what was I, what was I going to do? Right. Because they need utensils. And more faith. Incense, Yak Guardian. Yeah, this is, this is going to get hairy. We also need to figure out, like, research at some point. Okay, so let's go back over here. Requires research level one. Hold up. Ah, I know we don't have much fertile land here, but I just wonder. Are you thinking about using barley for something other than flour? Yes, I could brew a little something, you know, to help keep spirits high. We definitely can. Cold foamy, liquid gold. Perfect after a hard day of labor. Or just to make everything feel easy for a moment, to forget the important stuff for a second. Huh, no idea what you folks are talking about. Okay, so let's... What's up with you? Because this is supposed to increase my research level. Cheese demand is not being met. 
Because we're only producing three of these. Why? Oh, okay. So, big issue is producing nine milk. What about over here? Producing six. So we're going to need a, a secondary lowland yak shack milk zone. Phrasing it like that sounds wonky, but we need a cart post first, which is a big issue. Oh, really? Guess these peop people don't have a praying place. They don't have any food? No, they just don't have enough food. Yeah, some of this is going to need to get reorganized. I think the biggest one... Oh, yeah, go figure. This is worthless up here. Okay, so what is what is the issue? Because Academy increases research level by one. Unless I'm currently being hardlocked. I could be. No... This is honey production. Ale production. Why is my research level still only at zero? Okay. Higher the research level, the higher the threshold. Okay, let's just un- Ah. I've just been paused for too long. There we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, we gotta figure some things out. Namely, we can do a cart post. Let's see. Because, yeah, we're gonna need... We can keep this cheese here. Kind of. Let's actually wait until my money rolls up a bit. And to do that, we might as well get one of these down. There we go. That solves a lot of money problems. Yeah, I think we're mostly just going to have to wait. Because yeah, my treasury is just a little thin for my tastes. Spending too much time pause while building. Now, a couple of things I can do, maybe. Let's take a look at this. So we can fit at least a little bit more. Oh yeah, we absolutely can fit some more of these guys in here. Okay, now we're having cheese issues. That's fine. He is very happy about this. Has faction too low, supply too low. I appreciate that it tells me where where these problems are. I guess rather than dismantling anything or everything, let's just do... Uh, some yak shack... Yak shacks... And cheese. Pause. We might actually... Okay, so each of these produces nine. Each of these uses six. So I think we're actually going to need a distribution center. A carrier post. And then we're also going to need a cart post. Now, does that... Yes. There we go. Now, there is the extremely silly option at a much later date. Because these... 
these cheesemakers don't need to be in this area if we're really having farmland issues. Oh. We have this whole thing here. Kind of inconvenient, but yeah, I, I could actually set up there as well. What is your issue? Oh, just not enough milk? What? No. What? There we go. Okay, so if we look at this, yeah, I can get one more one more cheese maker up in here. What I'm probably gonna do. Is just double it. Okay. Here's the problem with what I just did. These are apparently very expensive. Oh no, it's because we're outsourcing yaks like crazy. Which... Sounds insane. I will fully grant. Oh, we also have Tamped Road. Interesting, so it increases movement speed. So that's actually something to keep in mind for later. Yeah, go figure I'm losing money. I just don't have enough people doing the work. Now, do my lowlanders need to be lowland? I have the faintest. Okay, let's... We got some other things we can do in the meantime. Okay. We can, we can get more. Let's go back to Copper Utensil, Copper Smith. Okay, we're just gonna have this go here. And then hook up to this. I guess I'm gonna need another distributor. Okay, should be fine. We're losing money again. Because we are outsourcing yaks. I just... Can't quite get over that as a concept. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're in fact providing copper. But there's more to go. go. Next issue is just egg. Uh, hmm. Yeah, can I get a chicken farm anywhere? I sure have kind of locked myself in here. You know what? I'm going to put them here. Move this over. I could get some extra houses in here. Okay. Income is good. We are not hosed. Next order of business is booze, which seems like it's going to be a process. First and foremost, we're going to need a charcoal pile. And barley field. Okay, so let's take a look at this. 12. How much is this producing? 4. So that's good. So, barley. Oh, you can even see its its production, like, levels. Uh, let's see. So, required workforce, lowlanders, upkeep, construction costs, and... Oh, provides barley and hay. So, the, the higher section gives you more hay. Interesting. 
I'll have to pay attention to that. Let's use barley and coal to brew ale. So we're going to need barley. I really got to figure out some better yak tech. If that's even a thing that can be done. Let's go back to this. How big is a barley field? Reasonably large. Okay. I think I'm just going to outsource the barley. <laughs> or not outsource the barley, but... Send it through a cart post instead. And bring it upland. And in fact... Or not bridge. We might as well just have it go direct. I'm not actually sure if that matters. But I'm going to try anyway. Okay, so this goes to the brewery. I feel like my road setup could do better than this. Okay, you go here. You go here. And then... I guess probably same, same deal distribution. We've got booze going here. Oh, distributed in an inn. Ugh. How big are these? Because I think I can fit the inn in down here, but it is tight as heck. We're going to need to upgrade the roads eventually in. All right, so if we go back to this, nope, we bring this back down to here and bam. Please tell me these people, yes, they do, they do booze it up. They do booze and cruise. The big issue is just a couple of these. Huh. What are you missing compared to this one? Ah, it is just the booze. Well, the one option we have. I'm just going to do that. Hopefully gives us the range. It mostly does. Missing workforce penalty. Um, this ale tastes great, but damn, my head is killing me. I don't feel so good either, and I don't really remember what happened just before we left the inn. Oh, I did what? Oh, the youth of today. Okay, so here's the immediate problem. I'm out of money. We're not making any money. This is a problem. Uh, uh okay. Here's the question. Surplus of six, so I can turn some of this off. Uh, I think I, I think I screwed up, is the answer. So we can disable that at the very least. Now we should take full advantage of a monk's potential. Yes, we should start mass-producing the sacred artifacts and make tons of profit from selling them. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, you said it first, the adventures of them, the taking advantage of a monk's potential. I meant the spiritual potential of their enlightened minds. We need more places where they can meditate and pray in peace. Yeah, so here's the immediate problem. I have too many ad hoc workers.
Okay, can I like, can I see a population management thing? Because it feels like this spiraled out of control in a really bad way. Uh, okay, fine. We're just going to turn this all off. At least until I can fix this issue. Okay. Because at the very least, I can get... I can let the money flow back in. Like, it sucks a little bit for these people, but so be it. And what else can I get them? We can also get, get decorations. We can get honey. Oh, we can get honey. And then there's also mandala. Can I actually do that? Mandalas. I wonder if that's something I can out output. We also have monastery walls. Can satisfy need wall. Yeah, so I don't think that works with any of these guys. Unfortunately, once again, we're going to have to wait until our treasury goes back up. And we're kind of stuck. As a result, I could get more people down, and that's probably going to be the, the big solving factor here. Because I'm pretty sure you're... No. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to need to expand these guys pretty dr dramatically. To get what I need. Oh. I should keep an eye on that. I did not realize that that could uh, potentially blow up in my face over there. Alright, so that's... Yeah, there, there's a lot of things that I can still do to get this this whole thing set up. We're going to need more lowlanders, I think, is going to be the biggest answer. Was it this? No, it was this. This is a, a snow cap. So I'm going to need more protection. I'm going to need a lot of things. We're going to need a lot more people is the other one. But that is just how this game works. So I think with all of this said, oop, yeah, it's fine. Kind of. Uh... Oh, here's a question. Eggs. Do we need to... Ah, egg production does not care about what height you are at. Good to know. Glad the chickens don't care. Anyway, I think this is a good stopping point, at least for now. I could keep going, uh, but it feels like it's going to take at least another hour before we get to the end of the tech tree. Because I think we want to get the... I have no idea where it is, actually. Whatever the big temple thing is on that you slap on top of the mountain yak races, these people are un unhinged. Uh, avalanche inducer, avalanche barrier. Mr. Plow, used when planning has failed. There's buildings within range of avalanche of snow. Funny. All right, well, anyway, with all this said, uh, I might as well mention that Laysara is available on Steam now. It, came, it was kind of a surprise release last week during the I initiative, and I was just kind of slow about getting around to it. Uh, it's 20 bucks normally down to 16 for, sorry, I have to, I'll tap one more time. There we go. 16 for launch, which I think is actually a very fair price for what it is. It is a generally traditional, uh, settlement builder. I don't think it really does too much to break the mold, but what it does do is provides kind of a charming and interesting, very three-dimensional city builder that you actually have to worry much more about like unit logistics and spacing and so it's kind of i'd almost say it's one of those like less is more situations where because of the complications provided uh by the fact that you you really do have to worry about um you do really have to worry about not having enough space not having enough space for your crops wasting a bunch of you know precious farmland on production structures you know, do I need all these cheesemakers down here? The answer is actually no. And so there's a possibility that I, I eventually move the cheesemakers up. And that actually could be kind of cool. Yeah, oh yeah, it would make total sense. Because we're using five workforce just to di distribute these here. Where I could actually use this later at a different... I don't know, we'll figure it out. For now, at least, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games, 
every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.